Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video you will see how you can repair a CD player with no disk error. Let's begin. Here you can see this uh, Sony CD player. When uh, I got a CD player that uh, it's giving uh, no disk error. First of all, I clean the lens with a brush like this and will, with isopropylic alcohol in uh, circular moves. In uh, some lucky case, if it's only dust on the lens, you can check. Now let's check. If CD is uh, reading As you can see, it's no disk error. Now, next thing to do. If you have only one adjust on this board, you can increase the power of the LED. But first of all, I forgot to tell, you have to make a small sign on each adjust. Now let's continue. If you have only one adjust, you can, uh, you have uh, two ways. If you have oscilloscope and uh, CD test, you can find the service manual of the CD player and you can measure the signal from the LED. It's one measuring point. And the level should be 1.3 volts. If it's too small, you can increase. Usually, when you turn counterclockwise, the power is increasing. When you turn clockwise, the power is decreasing. When you have a three adjustable like this, find what's the meaning of uh, everyone. Usually they have a letter. In my case, I will start from the left. In the left it's tracking balance, in the middle is focus bias and in the right it's uh, automatic power control. You should never modify uh, other adjust beside uh, automatic power control because if you will move this you will not be able to make adjustment again without the oscilloscope and it's very very difficult. Now this one in the right is the power of the LED. You should increase the power of the LED but in small steps because if you will have bigger steps you can short the life of the laser if the power is too big. Now let's increase the power of the LED. It's reading the disk.
it's working but I should uh, increase uh, just a little bit the power because uh, when I jump to the next melody it's uh, hard to find just a little bit Now it's working perfect. I forgot to tell you that you should make all the adjustments with a CD right by you because uh, because uh, it's more difficult for a CD player to read a uh, written CD like this and uh, the original CD it's uh, easier to read and that's why if it's working on a right CD surely it's working on the original CD if you have questions please put it in a comment I hope that you find this video helpful and if it's so please give a like. See you in my next video. Bye.